power delivery is quickly becoming the standard for single board computers, and existing power delivery battery packs don't offer a UPS functionality. The ones that do are not cost effective or don't work above 9 volts, so I built my own. And here it is. Hey everyone, this is Project SPC, and today we're going to go over my USB-C power delivery UPS battery pack. We'll go over the materials we'll need to build it, a quick build guide, and of course a show off of the UPS functionality of this. So let's begin. So the main idea behind this build is we've got a 4S battery pack and we're going to hook it up to this DC to USB-C power delivery output adapter. This is from a company called Bat Power. I'll leave a link to all the materials I used in the description below. So we're going to use this as our USB-C power delivery output and we want to give it above 12 volts. So I've got a 4S battery pack here, Samsung 30Q batteries, 3000 milliamp hour capacity. On the back side, I've got a 4S BMS balance board, important for the balance function. And I've got two barrel jack adapters, 5.5 millimeter down here. So one of these is going to go to the USB-C power delivery output. And the other one's going to go to my 4S 3 amp charger here. And that's where the UPS functionality is going to come in. Let's go over the battery pack real quick. It's a 4S 1P. I probably should have used 2P, especially if you're going to use anything over 45 watt. That in the capacity is pretty low at 3000 milliamp hours. Um, it's 4S configuration. B positive is here, B negative is here. It's daisy chained like this. Um, on the back side, we've got the BMS here. So I've got my B minus hooked up here, B plus here. And I've got my power output and input P, P plus and P minus hooked up to the daisy chained barrel adapters here. I've got my balance wires going out to each point. So my black wire here goes to the negative. The next red wire goes to the next battery point and so on and so forth until you get to your overall positive. Once you've got all that soldered together and you've got your two barrel adapters soldered together, you can now test out your UPS. So let's do a UPS functionality test and let's go over everything that we have on the board. So I've got my 4S battery pack here. I've got my USB-C USB power delivery adapter plugged in here, which goes to my Latte Panda Alpha, which runs on a 12 or a 15 volt power delivery profile. That's hooked up to this touchscreen monitor. And I have a battery pack to provide additional power to this because it is a power hungry touchscreen. So we're gonna get a voltage reading on the pins now. And we're gonna see what happens when we plug in the charger. So right now we're at 15.7 volts. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to plug in my charger here. We're going to check the voltage again to see that the voltage did go up. That would tell us that the charger is now powering the Latte Panda Alpha and the batteries are being charged. And it is. We're at 16.6 .6 volts. I'm going to disconnect the battery, the charger, I'm sorry. And we're going to see the Latte Panda Alpha is still running, which means that it does function as a UPS. We're going to check the voltage one more time to see that it is now back down to the battery level before. And we're at 15.76 volts. So yes, it is indeed a UPS. Now just to show you that I'm not full of smoke and mirrors, I am going to disconnect this cable here. And you see that the Latte Panda shuts off. So there you have it. It is a functional UPS for USB USB-C power delivery. In the future, I think I am going to double up on this. I'm going to make it a 4S 2P pack. It gives me more capacity, but it also makes me feel more comfortable about pushing this to the 60 watt limit that this can do without a certified USB-C cable. A big shout out to DF Robot for providing the silicone wire in this build. They provided the 18 gauge wire that you see here running on the back of the battery and to these two barrel adapters here. So thank you DF Robot for sponsoring the wire. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, maybe even subscribe, and thanks for watching.